The overall goal of this experiment is to visualize the energy transfer from one dye-modified DNA strand to another. This method can help answer key questions in the field of molecular biology, such as RNA interference, by monitoring SI RNA processing and integrity in living cells in real time. The main advantage of this technique is the ease of monitoring the fluorescence readout and the color change, giving a clear result so false positive results are eliminated. To begin this procedure, add the appropriate reagents as indicated in the text protocol to a 20 milliliter round-bottomed flask equipped with a magnetic stir bar and reflux condenser. Then add 0.06 milliliters of piperidine and heat the reaction mixture to 80 degrees Celsius for four hours. After the reaction has cooled to room temperature, collect the resulting precipitate by filtration and wash with diethyl ether three times. Next, add 100 milliliters of diethyl ether to the supernatant and collect the resulting precipitate by filtration. After washing three times with diethyl ether, combine the precipitate with the isolated solid from the first filtration. Using the computer connected to a DNA synthesizer, enter the desired DNA sequence and coupling method.